Hey everyone, Nerd Comics here. Um, I'm really excited to make this video. I bought a collection today. Um, Parker's not gonna be in this video. I, I just purchased this as a solo purchase of a collection. Um, I'm gonna show it off over there. This is a modern collection. It's small. It's about a, a long box worth of comic books. Um, I haggled the guy a little bit. It's about 170 books. I paid about $350, which sounds like a lot for moderns, um, but I think there is enough in there in order to warrant the buy. Um, so I'm gonna show them off and then you can let me know if you think I overpaid, if I underpaid. Um, I paid about $1.90 a book. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to go over it. Uh, let's look at the books. This is a very character heavy lot. Um, so there's about three or four characters in this and you're gonna see a lot of them. So if you're not interested in Venom, Ghost Rider, um, Thanos or um, actually just three. So first off, we have Venom, the end, $1.90 for this book is cool because it is a cover price of $5. Awesome cover. Uh, I don't know anything about this, so. Then we have, I think every Web of Venom book, um, the Web of Venom tie-ins. So we have Web of Venom, Venom Unleashed, uh, Stegman did this one. We have the Web of Venom, Venom Unleashed number one. This is a Stan Lee um, tribute. Web of Venom, Venom. Uh, this is a Kate's book. Web of Venom, Cult of Carnage, um, number one. Web of Venom, Funeral Pyre, number one. Web of Venom, The Good Son, number one. I think $1.90 on these might have been a little high. Web of Venom, Carnage Born, number one variant. But you'll see why $1.90 is good soon here. Um, this is one of my favorite covers. Web of Venom, Carnage Born. This is the A cover. It's just a beautiful cover. Um, I actually don't know who did this cover. Um, it looks amazing. This is so cool. Awesome book. Next stack. These are the Venomized books. So the first ones are the first five connecting cover variants. So we have Venomized number one variant, which connects with number two. Number two variant connects with number three. Number three variant, which connects with number four. And the number four variant, which obviously connects with number five. Number five does have a little ding in the corner, but that's all right. So those are cool books. We also have the A covers for Venomized. So this is number one, number two, number three, love this cover, number four, and number five. Let's get another chunk. I actually did get the entire Costa run um, so this is 150, uh, one through six are somewhere in the collection too. You'll see them later, but these are all the A covers. So this is 150 or legacy issue 150, 151. Oh, that's funny. I didn't know they did direct edition like that. So this looks like it's the newsstand, but it says direct up there. That's interesting. Number 152. 153, Moon Girl Devil Dinosaur cover. 154, and 155. All right, next chunk, 156. 157, Craven looks awesome here. 158. 159, 160, 161, 162, 163, 164. Oh, look at him on that one. That's awesome. And the last one is 165. Um, I'll show off one through six here in a minute, but 
This is the end of the Costa run. If you've got modern Venom, you've got to have these, right? So we have the fifth print of number one, um, the third print of number one, and the first print of number one. There were a bunch of variants in this lot, um, but there are all A covers as well. Next little chunk, Venom number two, the Donny Cates run. And a big reason why I bought the lot, number three. Uh, first appearance of Null, awesome book to have, $1.90 on that's awesome. Venom number four, obviously the second appearance of Null. Venom number five, amazing cover. Venom number six, a uh, variant, this is a Ghost Rider variant. Venom number six, the A cover. Venom number seven, this is the closed mouth variant. I wanted the open mouth one, I couldn't see it in the, uh, I couldn't see it in the listing, so. Venom number eight, and also in a beautiful condition, Venom number nine. First appearance of Dylan Brock, Eddie's son. Next chunk, we have Venom number 10. Uh, this is a variant, actually. This is a cool Conan variant. Uh, another Venom number 10, another variant. This one's not as cool to me, but it's still a nice cover. Um, Venom number 10, the A cover. Oh, took too many. Venom number 11. Venom number 12. And I didn't know this, but I thought Donny Cates did the entire run. Um, I guess he didn't uh, because it went over to Bun, but Venom number 13. Next stack. Oop. Venom number 14. Venom number 15. Venom number 16 goes back to Donny. Venom number 17. Venom number 18, Venom number 19, Venom number 20. Unfortunately, there's no 21, but he did have 22. Uh, awesome cover. Venom number 23, and the last of the Donny Cates Venoms, Venom number 24. I know it was a 35 issue run. Um, he only had one through 24 minus, you know, 21. So that's cool. Next grouping, we have Venom Annual, number one. Venom Annual, number one, second print. And Venom Annual, this is a different run. Um, the Ryan Katie run, so that's cool. And then we had an entire run of Venom Space Knight. So Venom Space Knight, number one. Venom Space Knight, number two. Venom Space Knight number three. Venom Space Knight number four. Next stack, Venom Space Knight number five. I hate that cover, it's not very good. <laughs> Venom Space Knight number six. Venom Space Knight number seven. Venom Space Knight number eight. Venom Space Knight number nine. Venom Space Knight number 10. Venom Space Knight number 11. I like that cover and I love this cover. Venom Space Knight number 12. Venom Space Knight number 13. And that's the entire Venom Space Knight run. And then there was also an entire run of the Way run of Venom. So the 2003 run. Uh, this is number one. Venom number two. Venom number three. Venom number four. Venom number five, awesome cover. 
Venom number six, Venom number seven, Venom number eight, Wolverine there, Venom number nine. I love the look of the symbiote with the, the adamantium claws going through the symbiote. Venom number 10, Venom number 11, pretty nasty. Venom number 12, Venom number 13, Venom number 14, Venom number 15, Venom number 16, Venom number 17, awesome cover. And finally, Venom number 18. All right, next stack, we had two copies of Venom Inc. Alpha and a copy of Venom Inc. Omega. We have Johnny Blaze Ghost Rider number one. Uh, Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider number one. Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider number two. Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider number three. Oops. Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider number four. And finally, Robbie Reyes Ghost Rider number five. He kind of threw these ones in and I'm kind of happy. These are kind of cool. Uh, Peter Porker, the Spectacular Spider Ham number one. Number two. Number three, I love this cover. It reminds me of Cuphead. Number four. And the annual. There was no number five, but still cool. This is a five issue mini. Uh, the six issue run of Ghost Rider. Um, so number one. Number two. Number three, Mephisto there. Number four. Number five, awesome cover. And number six. And then this was also thrown in. This is the 3D version, 3D copy, still poly bag of Spider-Man number 300. Um, so probably just gonna keep it in the poly bag, but cool book. All right, this is the rest of that Costa run. So Venom number one, or the beginning of the run, I guess you'd say. Venom number two. Venom number three. Venom number four, and Venom number five. Oh, sorry, and Venom number six. So that was the entire Costa run. Um, and then we have a cool little lot of Venomverse books. So we have Venomverse War Stories, awesome cover. And then we have Edge of Venomverse, number one, the direct. Number two, again, the direct. Number three, oh, that cover's cool. Number four. And number five. And then the solo series itself, Venomverse number one. Venomverse number two. Venomverse number three. Venom verse number four and Venom verse number five. All right, next stack. We have a full run with two copies of number one of Venom first host number one. Venom first host number two. Venom first host number three. Venom first host number four. And Venom first host number five. All right, we have a Thanos Legacy, number one. Cool book. All right, first stack, we have a Thanos, number one. This is the Jeff Lemire start. Thanos, number two. Thanos, number three, still the mirror at this point. Thanos, number four. 
Thanos number five. I'm so excited to read this. I have never read these. Thanos number six. Thanos number seven. And Thanos number eight. All right, next little chunk. Thanos number nine. Um, and then Thanos number 10. Thanos number 11. Thanos number 12. And if you know this run, you know Thanos number 13. This is the first appearance of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Um, it's about a $100 book, so that's cool to have. Thanos number 14, obviously his second appearance. Next little chunk, we have Thanos number 15. Thanos number 16. Thanos number 17. I think this is the first appearance of Ghost Rider Black. Black Ghost Rider? No, not Ghost Rider. Silver Surfer Black. And Thanos number 18. All right, last little grouping of books. So we have some more Thanos first. So we have Thanos Annual, number one. This goes to the Donny Cates run. And then we have the Tinny Howard run of Thanos. So Thanos number one. Thanos number two. Thanos number three. Thanos number four. Thanos number five. And Thanos number six. We have a full five issue run of Cosmic Ghost Rider to go with his first appearance. Cosmic Ghost Rider number two. Cosmic Ghost Rider number three. Hilarious cover, Cosmic Ghost Rider number four. I think this is Baby Thanos, first appearance. And Cosmic Ghost Rider number five, Punisher Thanos. Then we have Cosmic Ghost Rider Destroys Marvel History. Cool cover, number one. Number two, pretty funny there. Number three. Number four. Number five. And number six. And finally, we have Revenge of Cosmic Ghost Rider. So this is number one. Number two. <clears throat> and the final book of the collection, number three. So overall, um, I think it's a pretty good lot. Again, I paid $350 for this. There are some good keys in there. Cosmic Ghost Rider, no. Um, and then enough of the runs that I think I can double up my money. I'm hoping to let this this collection go so I can, in order to fund some more cool books. Um, otherwise, that's the whole collection. Um, if you think I overpaid or underpaid, let me know in the comments. But otherwise, thanks for watching, guys.